Hey guys, what's up? Bobby from Bitco Hobby back today, and here I have the Dynam Sky Trainer. So, what I'm going to be showing you how to do today is install our Detrum SR86A-G receiver. Um, what our new receiver has is a GPS module, and that um, module actually allows the plane to have auto recovery slash um, return to home mode. So, what it's going to do is once you arm the aircraft, once you take off, it's going to kind of trace its path, and then find its starting point. So if you get in a spot where you feel uncomfortable or you get disoriented, you'll actually be able to flip the switch and the plane will level itself out and then begin to fly back to that starting point. So um, you can control your height during this process, but it will not allow you to control the bank angle limits. So it's gonna fly itself home. If you feel the need that you need some more altitude or a little less altitude, you're still gonna be able to control that. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited to try this out. So let's go ahead and get it installed and then we're gonna go out to the field and see how it all works. So let's get started. They want you to have the heading location always pointed in the direction the aircraft is traveling. So what I mean by that is the heading um, position for this receiver is the antennas basically. So whatever direction your aircraft is traveling, you, you want this receiver to be pointed with the bunny ears on the front here towards the front of the plane so that way it's going to act how it should and all the features will work properly otherwise you might have some issues so in the Cessna Sky Trainer I'm going to go for this flat spot right back here that's just what I think is going to be a good area for it it's going to be a good area to kind of hide some wires and get some spaghetti out of the way and it should function great and then from there I'm going to show you how to install the GPS receiver and then also supplied with the receiver is a little piece of 3M double-sided sticky tape so you can use that to mount the receiver to the airplane. So as you can see here I have the GPS receiver mounted on this flat spot here in the back with the bunny ears facing forward to make sure the heading position is um, facing the right direction. And then what I'm going to do is connect the GPS receiver next and with that I'm going to probably put it somewhere in the back of the airplane um, with another piece of two-sided sticky tape make sure it doesn't go anywhere and um, that's just where I'm going to put it guys you don't have to put that GPS receiver um, in the back of the aircraft you can mount it wherever you feel comfortable to mount it um, just the receiver has to be pointed forward that's it right, so I'm just going to go ahead now plug this here you can't get it wrong, it says GPS right here on the bottom of the receiver. And I'm gonna put some two-sided sticky tape on here and then mount it in the back. All right, so here you can see that I have my GPS module mounted inside the aircraft now in the back here. I actually ended up going with a little bit of Velcro, um, so that way if I ever needed to, I could remove it pretty easily or change position of it. And then to get rid of some of the uh, spaghetti in there, I just went ahead and used a little zip tie and tucked it up in the corner. It worked out really well. All right, guys, now I want to go over the binding procedure a little bit with you. Um, all you have to do once you connect your power source is wait for that light to start flashing red fast. Once the light's flashing red, you're just going to go ahead, hold the bind button on top of the receiver here, wait for it to start flashing red slowly, and then grab your transmitter, hold the SG switch all the way up, and power on the transmitter. Now you can see that the light has gone green. Once the light goes green, it means that the bind is complete and you're ready to go. All right, guys, so that's the installation on the SR86A-G receiver with GPS. To get yours, check us out at BitcoHobby.com. We're also on Facebook and Instagram as well. If you like what you're seeing here, please like, subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell on your way out for all the latest and greatest notifications from us. And, yeah, we're going to go ahead, get this button back up, and then get out to the field. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you out there.